In this lesson, we will be learning about the tilt sensor, which is this black cylinder with two wires sticking out of the bottom. The inside of this sensor looks like this, with the wires continuing inside and two conductive balls inside. The yellow ball connects the two wires together and the red ball applies pressure downward to make sure that the connection is solid. In this way, electric current can flow up one of the wires into the sensor through the yellow conductive ball and out the other wire of the sensor, creating a short circuit. However, if we tilt the sensor 90 degrees, the ball will roll away from the two wires because of gravity, and therefore electric current can no longer flow through the two wires of the sensor, creating an open circuit. This makes the tilt sensor act like an on-off switch once it reaches plus or minus 90 degrees of tilt, and then the ball can no longer create a solid connection to the two wires inside the sensor. Before we can explore further into the theory and application of this tilt sensor, we need to set up the experimentation platform for this course. To do that, first we need to go to arduino.cc and then download the latest version of the Arduino IDE software. Then, after the download finishes, we'll need to install the software onto our computer. The installer is small and it shouldn't take very long to set up on your computer. Secondly, we need to make sure that the drivers are installed for the Arduino Nano board. On the Sensors Kit product page at Gadgetory.com, you can find the drivers for the Arduino Nano. I will be downloading and installing the Windows 7 drivers since that is the operating system I have. To install the Arduino Nano drivers, I just double click on the setup program and click install. The final step in our platform setup is to test and make sure that the Arduino Nano is working. To do that, I will first plug in the Arduino Nano board via USB to my computer. And if I open the control panel's device manager, under the ports tab, I can see the USB to serial port of the Arduino Nano is ready on COM11. To double check and make sure that everything worked out, I'll also open the Arduino program, specifically the Blink program, then the port needs to be set to COM11, and the board set to Arduino Nano, then I'll click Upload, and after a few moments the program is uploaded, and you can see the LED blinking on the Arduino Nano. Great! Our platform is ready, and we can continue with the course. Our goal for this lesson is to make the Arduino turn on a buzzer alarm when the tilt sensor reaches plus or minus 90 degrees. So let's take a look at the hardware and software theory to do just that. First, we'll start with the hardware schematic. We'll use the Arduino Nano board, connecting its local plus 5 volt power and ground pins to our breadboard's bus lines. Then we will connect digital pin 2 to a 10 kilo ohm pull-up resistor to plus 5 volts, which then connects to one side of the tilt sensor and a connection to ground for the other side of the tilt sensor. Finally, from digital pin 3, we will connect a 470 ohm current limiting resistor to the buzzer board's input pin, with plus 5 volt power and ground also going to the buzzer board. This is the complete schematic. You can see the tilt sensor side is focused on creating an input, and the buzzer board side is focused on creating an output. Now let's go over and look at the software to see how it makes the sensor input drive the buzzer output. Inside of the Arduino IDE, we start by declaring the tilt sensor pin and the buzzer pin. Next we'll use an integer called tilt state as a buffer to keep track of the tilt input. And now we'll start with the setup and loop functions. In the setup function, we set the buzzer pin as an output and the tilt pin as an input. In the loop function, we perform a digital read of the tilt pin and store it in the tilt state integer. If the tilt state is logic low, we know the sensor is upright because the tilt sensor is connected directly to ground, and so the buzzer is turned off. However, if the tilt state is logic high, we know that the tilt sensor is being tilted, so we turn the buzzer on. With the program complete, plug in your Arduino Nano board and upload this program to it. Now that we've explored the theory, let's actually build this experiment and see it in action. 
The parts we'll need are a breadboard, the jumper wire kit, and the sensors course components kit. The specific parts from the components kit that we'll be using are the Arduino Nano, the buzzer board, a tilt sensor, a 470 ohm resistor, and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. To build the circuit, place the Arduino Nano into the breadboard and connect its plus 5 volt and ground pins to the breadboard bus lines. I'll use two orange wires to connect both bus strips together. Next I'll connect D2 to the pull-up resistor and tilt sensor. The other side of the tilt sensor connects to ground. And now I'll connect D3 to a 470 ohm resistor, which then connects to the input pin of the buzzer board. The buzzer board also connects to plus 5 volt power and ground. Now our circuit is ready for testing. Since the Arduino Nano board gets its power over USB, I'll plug the circuit into my laptop to turn it on. And now, when I tilt the board, you can hear the buzzer go off at around 90 degrees. In addition to being a tilt sensor, this sensor acts as a primitive vibration sensor as it is sensitive to quick movements. And here we can see a second angle of the tilt sensor working as both a plus minus 90 degree tilt sensor and vibration sensor. In the real world, there are already a variety of ways to measure tilt, all with varying degrees of accuracy. A level like this with bubbles can commonly be found on construction sites. A very sensitive tilt sensor like this one is used in pinball machines to detect if the user is trying to cheat by vibrating or tilting the arcade machine. A more high-tech form of tilt sensing uses the accelerometer sensor. This sensor uses MEMS technology which is very sensitive and very accurate as you can see in this demonstration. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. Now that you have your platform set up and we've finished exploring tilt sensors, let's move on to lesson three where we learn about temperature sensors.